<clears throat> Hello YouTube, January 11th, 2018. First video of the year, the day right before my birthday, so I said let me get on over here before the birthday hits. I know it's been a long time since I've been on this channel, but of course, if you're following me on my other two channels, um, I've been very active over there. I just released two business videos back to back on my um, business channel, and I think I released a video about two weeks ago on my vlog channel. I've been more active on my business channel as of late, so go ahead and check that out as well. But here we're going to give a long talk of the day. I well, not a long talk, but we're going to finally give an updated nail talk video of the day. I don't got no services today. I took off for my birthday weekend, so should be no interruptions. So I know this is what a lot of people are subscribed to me for, Armin Nails. So here's an update on them. They're doing pretty good. Well, I'll sell for one, and we're, we'll get into that in a moment. This is an update of what my nails are doing. These are mines. And of course, y'all know these are rather short compared to what they used to look like, which were about up to here. So, I wanted to give a quick update about the fact that I've been a year free of nail polish. I have not worn any nail polish within a year. Um, was not planned at all. It just happened that way, and I think it's a good thing. My nails been stronger for the most part, but they've always been fairly strong but I've noticed the clarity in them have been more clear since being nail polish free now I can't promise that all of 2018 that I won't have um, any nail polish on them but they would definitely be a more healthier option than what I've, I've had like they almost look like I've gotten a clear coat on but I haven't even worn no clear polish in a year this is just the natural clarity of my nails but anyways um, I'm looking for a good, well, not a natural base brand, but a more healthier brand. Um, I'm letting Sally Hansen go after, what, five years? That used to be my favorite brand. I'm looking into something else. I don't want Etsy. I'm thinking OPI. I might try OPI polish this year. Um, so there are more nail videos to come. Um, so I'm thinking I want to try OPI. And then I might get my first ever manicure as far as, you know, extensions. I've never had acrylics, but I want to see what's it about. Now, it ain't going to become a frequent thing, but I wanted to compare acrylics to what my natural nails are. So, we might do that for the video. So, what are y'all thinking about Diva Wand with some acrylic nails? And, of course, I'm not worried about them hurting my natural nail bed. Um, I went to school with a experienced nail technician, um, so she knows all about proper finger measurements as far as sizing your nails right and all of that good stuff. Um, that and the acrylics are not going to be a frequent thing. It will be just something to show y'all on the channel. So, what are y'all thoughts on Diva Wine with some acrylics? You know, maybe like Stephanie Nicole, honey. Matter of fact, Stephanie Nicole's nails are equivalent to what mine used to be naturally back in the day. But the downside of that is, when they break, honey, yeah, this broke all the way down. So me and Darn going, um, Stephanie, we're matching right now. As y'all know, Stephanie Nicole, she broke her nail all the way down to here. Mine's broke up to here and I was in pain. Got in a domestic dispute. Darn gone. One of my nails didn't make it through the darn gone battle, y'all. So, another reason. Yeah, on my vlog channel, yeah, y'all, we we we'll talk about that and the reason why a girl needs to get the hell up off of this darn gone street area right here. I'm getting older. I'm not getting no younger. I think my face is starting to show it as well. Uh, the stress lines are starting to come through so I need to treat myself by darn going upgrading the scenery but once again more of that will be on my um, business channel and that will be that's about it 
I just wanted to come in and give y'all a quick update on my nails. Also, a quick update on my hair. My hair is doing better. I think we talked on the topic last year about the um, hair loss that I've been going through. Um, also, I have not used heat. This, is, once again, was also unintentional. Um, I've went a year without no nail polish. And I've also went my first year since being natural. This is my first year since being natural where I did not have no heat on my hair. Never, and I've never had problem with heat. I've, um, every time I've done my own hair, I've never experienced heat damage. As y'all know, you know, I studied, um, cosmetology for five plus years. Um, I am a licensed beautician, more, uh, specialized in aesthetics though, but still, I studied, um, cosmetology. I know how to keep my hair protected. So, right now, I got these flexi rods in. It now gets to the point where it takes over a day for my hair to fully dry. It's still cold in North Carolina, so that doesn't help. So I got these flexi rods in. I take them down at night and then fluff them out in the morning for my birthday. So that's what's going on with my hair. It's been a year um, heat-free. Um, really no curl pattern differences because, like I said, I've never had any heat damage to begin with. Only time I had heat damage was when my mother's bootleg hairstylist fried my hair off um, twice. On um, graduation, I had a little heat damage, and the second time, it was some heat damage. Um, but ever since I've done it, I flat earned what about? I was flat earning about two, three times a year, so still wasn't anything major. I think 2013, I flat earned like three times that year. 2014, same thing. No, I think I did it twice. Because I was homeless by the uh, second time. No, I did it because I flat earned when I first moved in. And then I flat earned twice when I was at my uh, sister's house. So that was three times that year. 2015, I was in beauty school. That's when the bitch cut my hair off. My hair was 16 inches and she cut it all the way up to here. We talked about that. Then re flat ironed it again. I'm trying to think that I have it flat ironed. Yeah, I think it was three times. So, yeah, the running trend was three times a year up until like 2016. Then that was just two times a year. I had a flat iron in February, then flat ironed. Let's see, was it 2016? 2016, I think I flat ironed it just twice. And then 2017, now I didn't. No, 2017, I didn't flat iron at all. Yeah, I didn't flat iron at all. Because 2000 and. No, I'm lying. Now that I think about it, my last. Month in Kirby, I want to say. Oh, it's been so long. I, I remember I bear. Oh my God. So 2017. Was my hair flat iron? I'm trying to actually think. Did I flat iron my hair? And no, actually I didn't. I'm thinking February 2017. No, I didn't flat iron my hair. It was so close. It was December that my hair was flat ironed that year. Um. Okay, I'm still getting used to this new darn on date, y'all. Okay, here we go. 2016. End of 2016. Flat iron. Going into 2017, which was the last year. February, I did not have it. Okay, so all of 2017. Okay, I was thinking of year in advance. I don't know what was going on, but... Yeah, I have not flat ironed for the whole year. Um, and then this part of the hair still is not... I remember when it was only right here, but it's it's just gotten here within a year or so. I'm going to have to see a trichologist. So that's what's going on with me as far as medical goes. Um, I would dabble more into, you know... The medical condition as far as... Some of y'all already know the extent of my previous... You know, which would 
we, we'll talk about it. So that's it. Y'all leave y'all tips, comments, suggestions down below. But this was ultimately just a quick video to give y'all an update on my nails. Um, everything else was secondary. But y'all leave me y'all thoughts and I will see y'all soon. Bye.